Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice radio. So today, we are looking at a new Mewtwo card. And if you like playing supporters, as everyone does, you're probably going to like this new Mewtwo. Frankly, ladies and gentlemen, there is a lot to like about this new Mewtwo. So if we start off with the basics here, 120 HP is lower than ideal, because that means that you're in Zoroark territory, and that adds a little bit rubbish and a little bit rude. The retreat cost of two is, frankly, a little bit rubbish. And the weakness to Psychic is not particularly great. Now, if Garboda ever comes back around, this will be free items in the discard KO. But, you know, watch out for Malamar decks, and otherwise just chill. Now, being a Psychic Pokemon, however, much better. It means you're hitting weakness against stuff like Buzzwall, which, well, it just refuses to go away. Buzzwall's always good. But it's the ability here. The ability is what we really love. Our translation, of course, comes from the lovely David Hockman over at Rappelman TCG over on Facebook. And the ability reads, once during your turn, when you play this card from your hand to the bench, you may put a supporter card from your discard pile on top of your deck. It is actual supporter recovery. You can use this to get your supporter cards back. And frankly, ladies and gentlemen, that is over the top ridiculously good. And I love it. And I'm sure a whole bunch of other people are going to love it as well. Now, first of all, what we need to say is, hang on a second. Isn't this just half a Delcati? Well, it's actually a bit worse than half a Delcati. Delcati put two supporter cards from your discard into your hand. This puts one supporter card from your discard on top of your deck. So you don't even have it ready to use. So why am I so excited for this card? When daukati has been out since Celestial Storm, and no one's playing. Like, literally no one. I've not seen a good deck list with this in since it came out. The thing is, it's a basic Pokemon. And I'm sorry that it's that simple and that easy and that obvious, but it is that gosh darn simple and easy and obvious. It is a basic Pokemon. You pop it on the bench, you grab a supporter, you are off and rolling. And supporter cards win and lose you games. Something like Ace Roller. We are in the format at the moment of Tag Team GXs. And they've got huge HP, 240 or more, and they give up free prizes. So you really don't want them getting KO'd. What you really want to do is wait until they're about to be KO'd, play an Ace Roller, pick them up, jobs are good. But you need that Ace Roller at the right time. And here's the thing. On the one hand, yes, this recovers your supporter cards. If you run out, this will get you another one. Fear Face Roller. But on the other hand, it searches. This lets you get an Ace Roller. It is to supporters in the discard pile, as Tapu Lele is to supporters in the deck. Yeah, you've got to have them in the discard first, but then put a Mewtwo on the bench, and you can just get whichever supporter you like, as long as it's in the discard pile. This is really, really good. This gets you that Guzma. And look, we've all been in games where we need a Guzma this turn. I've commentated a lot of the Pokemon TCG. And the amount of games that just comes down to whoever draws the next Guzma wins is ridiculous. Well, Mewtwo makes sure that you draw the next Guzma. You are the person that gets the next Guzma and ends up winning the game. That is not something to be sniffed at, ladies and gentlemen. That is a huge, huge advantage, a huge bonus, and could well end up winning you the game rather than losing you the game. Now, it is worth stressing at this juncture that Mewtwo doesn't actually get you the supporter card back. It puts it on top of your deck. But there's a million different ways to get it when it's on top of your deck. You can play an item card like a Judge Whistle or an Acro Bike, but it's far more likely you'll be playing something like a Pidgeotto or an Orangaroo that can draw you that card. So, as I go through the video, I'm going to be talking about Mewtwo gets the card, Mewtwo gets the card. Remember that you have to get it off the top of your deck, but we've got really good Pokemon draw around at the moment, and I'm assuming that most of the time in the late game, you're going to have a Pidgeotto or an Orangaroo or something that can get you this card. The only real downsides are that it ends up being a space on your bench, and that's a bit of a problem. This isn't Versus Seeker. Now, it provides functionally the same role as Versus Seeker, in that it recovers a supporter card from your discard pile, but one of the great things about Versus Seeker was that you didn't need to have a space on your bench or any of that. You just played it and you rolled. Mewtwo, you've got to pop it onto your bench. Here's the thing, though. Mewtwo is searchable, eminently searchable. 
far more so than Versus Seeker. So obviously you can use Ultra Ball here. But the other thing you can do is actually take advantage of Mysterious Treasure, whereby you only discard one card from hand, and then you're limited to searching a Pokemon that is Dragon or Psychic type. Well, great news! Mewtwo's a Psychic type! So grab Mewtwo here, and you're off and rolling. Now, I should mention at this stage that you cannot use Nest Ball here, because Nest Ball puts you straight onto the bench, and it's exactly the same as Tapu Lele. This is an ability which activates when you put it onto the bench from your hand. Nest Ball puts it straight onto the bench from your deck, so you will not get the ability here. But given that we've been coping with this with Tapu Lele for a while, I don't think it's going to be an issue with Mewtwo. Now, the other downside of it being a Pokemon other than having to take the bench space is that it is an ability. An Alolan Muck is a thing. An Alolan Muck will turn off the abilities of all basic Pokemon, and yes, that does include Mewtwo. That means that any time there's an Alolan Muck on the field, you're not going to be able to get this rolling. Funnily enough, if there is a Wobbuffet in play in Expanded, Wobbuffet turns off abilities of non-psychic Pokemon, and this is a psychic Pokemon. Having said that, in Expanded, we've got Versus Seeker. One of the things that makes this Mewtwo so gosh darn good is the lack of alternatives we've got for recovering supporters in the standard format at the moment. There's Palpad, but Palpad shuffles into your deck, and then you've got to try and draw into it. And maybe you've got a Macargo to put it on top of your deck, but Macargo essentially puts you in the same position you would be after a Mewtwo. It leaves it on top of the deck. That's a bit awkward. Similarly, you can use Orangaroo's attack here, but it is exactly that. It's an attack. It's the only attack you get for your turn. I don't think that's a particularly clever idea here. And then, of course, we've got Delcati, but Delcati's a stage one. Which means that you've got to take a turn to evolve it, and your opponent can Guzma and take it out in the meantime. And it means that you can have either your Skitty or your Delcati prize, and then you're not able to use it. Yes, of course Dalcati is a better ability when taken in a vacuum, but basic Pokemon gives you too much of an advantage here. Frankly, ladies and gentlemen, this is absolutely redonkulous. It means you're going to have the supporter you want when you want it. Whether that's an Ace Roller to pick up a Pokemon, whether it's a Guzma to drag something off the bench, or even just a Cynthia to draw you cards. You can even do dumb things like play a single Team Skull Grunt, and then if your opponent has energy in hand, or you know they've got energy in hand, hey, maybe Lavender Town will help you out with that. Then you just drop Mewtwo, pick it up from the discard, and you're off and rolling. In a format like we've got in Expanded where Versus Seeker is a thing, maybe you can just ignore Mewtwo and go, yeah, we don't need it. But in Standard, this is too good. This is a chance to get those supporter cards back, and make no mistake about it. People who find the right supporter at the right time win the game. And this is a chance where instead of going, ah oh man, I would have won if I drew into the Guzma, ah, oh, I would have won if I didn't have to discard those two Guzma in the early game, this is where you can go, hey, I did win because I played Mewtwo. Because I could just use an Ultra Ball to search for a Mewtwo. That's what this does. Yes, it's an ability and can be turned off. Yes, it takes up a space on your bench. But it is a very, very searchable way of instantly getting back any supporter you need. You can't just play a Dalcati unless there's a Skitty on the bench already. You can just drop a Mewtwo and win the game. Now, there is an attack here, and the attack is actually kind of useful. It is a relevant attack, albeit somewhat expensive. Psychic, double colorless, 70 damage. Damage from this attack is not affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. It's basically Shred. It just goes through anything that might be on the Pokemon. So something like a Jolteon EX, for instance, which is blocking attacks from basic Pokemon. You go right through. Something like a Dawn Wings Necrozma that uses its GX attack and gets immunity next turn. You just go right through. Or even something like Lusamine Prism Star, which gives Ultra Beast immunity for a turn as long as your opponent has exactly three prizes remaining. You can go through all of that. 
Now, the energy cost is a little bit more than I would like. Yeah, you can use double colorless energy, and that's nice. And yeah, you can use Malamar. And in a Malamar deck, you'll probably end up using this attack. The attack is fine. It's a nice emergency, ah, kind of attack. And look, 70 damage is a one-hit KO on a baby Buzz Hainek. And with a choice band, it is a one-hit KO on a Boswell GX. And they're the kind of cards that are going to be using Lusamine Prism Star. So Boswell can use Lusamine, get immunity for a turn, and then Mewtwo can just go and get a one-hit KO for two prizes anyway. It's a useful attack, it's just very expensive, and 70 for free energy sucks. But going through effects on the defending Pokemon is good. So basically, if you're going through effects, yay! If you're not going through effects, very overpriced. But it's not about the attack here. It is about the ability. The ability is phenomenal. Yes, it can be turned off. Yes, you need a bench space. Blah, blah, blah. Don't care. Because the reality is, this is a great ability that will win games. You couldn't just put a Delcati into your deck. It had to be a 1-1 line, and then you took time to evolve, and it was rubbish. You can put one Mewtwo in your deck. Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I expect a lot of people to put one Mewtwo in their deck. Maybe you start with it, and it becomes a bit rubbish, but as long as you don't start with it, at one point during the game, wait till you got a bench space, play Mewtwo, win the game. It turns an Ultra Ball into a Guzma, and I know that Tapilele already does it, but in the late game, you are way more likely to have a Guzma in your discard pile than you are in your deck. Think of it like a fifth Guzma. I know I've been very high on a lot of cards lately, but I've got to give this five Wossies. I expect this to be played in a lot of decks as a one-off. And my rule for a five Wossie card is either it's going to fundamentally change the game, it's going to be the best deck, or near as damn it, or it's going to see a lot of play in a lot of different decks. And I see Mewtwo falling into that category. I could be wrong. It could just be Dalcati Mark II. But actually, being a basic that takes up one space in your deck and can be grabbed whenever, versus a stage one that you've got to prep for, etc. No, I don't think there's much of a fair comparison. So ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a phenomenal, over-the-top, brokenly, brilliantly awesome card, but I would very much like to know what you think about this. So please do let me know in the comment section. Go nuts, but please do remember the rule. Be nice, would ya? And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all of that, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. And please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash Wassy Plays for some more Wassy action. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.